Welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us. But if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so, so that we can bring you the latest news as they come. And together, we shall support our leader, Mazin Namdekanu, IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality. He said, In the Fulani Janjawi desperate bid to overrun Biafran land, the Fulani Nigerian government is employing every evil and wicked tactics using their terrorists in military uniform to carry out their wicked acts. The Fulani Nigerian government's new strategy is using the criminal DSS who now ships in terrorist Fulani bandits into Biafran land, disguising them as unknown gunmen to kill prominent Igbo men and women. Just as they killed Dr. Chike Akinuli, the husband of late Professor Dora Akinuli, on Tuesday, along the old Onicha Enugu Road, the Fulani Nigerian government plans to put all those evil and wicked and senseless killings and blame it on IPOB in order to get Biafrans to fight IPOB and Eastern Security Network for the Fulani Janjaweed, whom the Fulani security agencies are unable to defeat, even with all their weapons and ammunition and their fighter jets. They are unable to defeat Eastern Security Network. Malame was the one that ordered DSS to go with this new strategy. He ordered it in connivance with the terrorist minister of communication, Issa Petami. They organized all these killings of prominent Biafrans using the DSS and the terrorist Fulani bandits who disguises as unknown government in order to deceive Biafrans. But Biafrans know the real or the right unknown government. They will not go after Biafrans, but they will go after the Fulani Janjaweed. You know, the Fulani Nigerian government are very desperate. And they know that the Efulefu Biafran governors cannot help them overrun Biafra because Biafrans no longer trust their political leader because they are all selfish. They are all selfish. And that is why Buhari has no value for human life. He's such a murderous Fulani Janjaweed. And he's using this murder for propaganda, thinking it will help them. But they have failed. They have failed because they have been exposed. They have been exposed. And they will surely pay for all the atrocities. They will pay for it. They will not go scot-free because the Afrans will fight back. You know, terrorists full and Nigerian police were sent packing from a checkpoint at Aguata because they have been using this checkpoint to extort money from Biafrans and drivers. And this is causing a lot of pain on Biafrans and their businesses. Yet, the foolish Biafran governors won't say anything, but when it is sit at home Monday, 
they will be ranting. At Aguata, there is no security threat, and the Fulani Nigerian police treat Biafrans like criminals by asking Biafran commuters to come down from vehicles, raise their hands up, and trek for a long distance before continuing their journey. Whereas in the terrorist ravaged north, the Fulani Janjaweed security agencies have no checkpoints and the Fulani terrorists are not given inhuman treatment. Also, the criminal DSS are disguising as unknown government to burn down campaign vehicles in Anambra State just to demonize IPOB because the Fulani Nigerian government knows that there won't be any election in Biafra land except referendum election, no matter the blackmail by the Fulani Nigerian government and their terrorist security agencies, Biafra must be free and restored. You know, the Fulani Nigerian government plans to declare state of emergency in Biafra land if all their efforts to overrun Biafra fails because they know that Biafran governors cannot help the Fulani Janjaweed. That is one of the reasons why they are using the security agencies to cause havoc in southeast region to create a false insecurity situation. That is what they are doing. You know, in order for them to install a Fulani Janjaweed as state administrator, for them to rig elections, forcefully grab indigenous land, to settle their terrorist Fulani kinsmen and stop Biafran restoration. But they have failed because Biafra must be restored. It must be restored and there is nothing the Fulani Janjaweed can do about it because Biafra must be free. Fulani has failed and they must fail. They must fail in Biafra land. They have been exposed. All their tricks and gimmick have been exposed. They thought that their cheap lies and blackmail, their killing prominent Biafrans, will make Biafrans to go against IPOB. They have failed. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.